how can that person break into artificial intelligence and robotics jobs? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I'm pretty good about answering this question because originally I was a mathematician. I was not even in AI or robotics or anything. So um, I guess I'll start with the story of how I got into this field and then I'll give you a more broad sense of how someone can break into it and certain jobs that we need that may not, that are not straight developer jobs. So to start off with, as mentioned, I was a mathematician. I was working on my PhD in mathematics. I was writing papers. I was teaching mathematics. And I had realized that I didn't really want to pursue mathematics as a career. So, so I joined a company called PricewaterhouseCoopers as a project manager, actually. And they quickly realized that I was a very technical person. And they threw me on something called RPA, which I had no idea what those letters even stood for. And that's really how I got involved was I just happened to be a technical person who liked programming and I was in a company that recognized that. To that end, I would like to say that there's lots of jobs that are in artificial intelligence, um, much like there are lots of jobs in IT that aren't direct programming. Of course, there is, you know, don't wanna take that away from people who wanna program. Of course, there is the programming jobs that you're welcome to do that you'd expect. Um, but we also have the need for people who are architects. So the people who are not getting down and dirty with the code, but can architect or come up with a solution to an AI problem. That requires a deep understanding of AI as well. So, however, if you're totally not in this field, if you're in a field like business or something like this, you can also definitely come in as a project manager. We need people who can write requirements and understand what clients need or just in general what an AI project needs. So it's definitely, I think the first step is to have an interest and to state that interest. As mentioned earlier, AI is the future. So the more you're interested and the more you show that interest and you try to pursue, you will find a role because it's gonna be such a big deal in the future. Fantastic, thank you so much. So, um... What do you think are the top three skills needed for an intelligence automation developer job? Sure. So um, what, the first thing that I look for when I'm trying to hire people on my team is I look for people who are process oriented. So again, because we are automating jobs, not just coming up with a systems implementation, I need to make sure that we have developers and business analysts who understand that there are sequential steps that need to be replicated by the computer. So I think it's, 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 as abstract as it sounds, understanding how a process works is the first step. Next, you obviously have to understand basics of computer science. Fortunately, working in intelligent automation, you, can, you don't have to understand, have a deep understanding of algorithms and runtime and things like that. But you do have to understand basic things like loops, data, um, data types, storing data, and how to retrieve data in order to make a good functional bot. Finally, the last skill I would say you need is a very close, uh, the ability to read very closely to details. Because again, because since you're automating something, you need to be able to replicate that almost perfectly so if you aren't the type to pay attention to details, this is not the job for you. Thank you so much, Melanie, for the lovely answer. So uh, what education or background or experience is needed to get started in robotics field? You know, I always think that if you have, I, of course, if you have enough passion, you can get by and you can learn. However, again, when we are hiring, we are looking for people who do come from certain backgrounds. Uh, for our business analysts, we are looking for people who do have business degrees, which is pretty straightforward. But we also look for um, people who have computer science degrees, information technology degrees, masters in information technology, information systems as well, because they understand how information systems work and interact and touch each other. Um, I would like to say that the majority of the team that I work on is actually math and statistics majors as well. So I think that that's one major that people don't sometimes overlook, whereas we do have a technical ability and we do have, um, you know, an understanding of process and logic. So that's another background. However, again, you know, you can, you can have 
If you have the desire to get into the field, I think it's never too late to learn.